podcast like this. Who can bring it? Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official, outstanding, incredible Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my day all gone. Man, it's going down, man. You know, uh, back on the set, man. Back on the scene, man. Hey, I don't never start like this. But make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel, man. Appreciate all our subscribers. Everybody's been rocking with us, man. A1 since day one, man. Uh, hey, check it, man. Hey, shout out to them boys in Atlanta, man, that showed us so much love just a week ago. ATL, shout it. Uh, also, shout out to uh, all the people that just love every time... Uh, yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Check it, man. And don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on all social media pl platforms. Sorry. That's and all right. Get it's it on right. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. Come on now. Check it. Hey, man, we got a very special guest in the house today, y'all. He don't need no introduction. This is not his first time here. Matter of fact, this is third time here. Uh, it's yeah. going down, man. Check it, man. He's back, y'all. We heard yeah. about it, man. Hey, so what's going on, man, with you? Man, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm glad to be here, man. Long 12-hour drive, but I came straight here. I see, man. And you know what? And you need to come straight here because people been coming behind you being here ever since you left. Uh, you know, I start, I'm a, I I ain't no um, follower. I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I drive the train, and, and I pick up people along the way. I man. love it. And you see your stop where you think you can do better, get off. <laughs> <laughs> say, man, so, you know, uh, comedy, man, and it's one of those things, man, that you've been blessed uh, to pass the test. I'll say, man, you always, uh, when I came to the show, we, we, Definitely loved your show, bro. So, so wait a minute. You said I passed the test, so y'all doubted yeah. me in the beginning. Oh, well, we didn't doubt you. We just didn't years. know. Yeah. We ain't God. know. No, hey. because you got to think about it. Just like the same thing I said with Jordan when he came on the show. I'm like, when you see somebody on the internet doing their thing and they're funny, you, you just see them as that internet comedian. But when you actually see them in person and they're funnier in person it's and crazy. they're on, well, see, it's just like mind blowing. Well, see, I started off in comedy first. Mm. So comedy was before the internet. Mm -hmm. I did comedy and music first, and then the internet just trail came along. You said music, so you sing too? I know I sing in the bathroom, but um, I, I rap. But rapper, I rap. You know, and I can trapper. write it. I write R and B. You know. Okay, okay. Man, you know, just the the way that uh, the game is now. Comedy is something else, man. We've been seeing a lot of comedians. We hadn't talked to you since uh, Chris Rock, you know, got lifted up by I Will know, Smith. Right? But we, but but that ain't that ain't the kicker, man. The kicker is, man, that. He's really backed off of everything instead, you know, as far as we'll go. He came out and said one thing, but it's really crushing his spirit the way that that happened. You can tell that it was it took effect on him according to the way he's pushing back now. But the thing is, man, people been getting hit for a long time. <laughs> Don't know. You know, I ain't saying he didn't got hit. Well, he didn't got hit before because he got brothers. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? On national TV, man, just take it in. And, and you and we'll work this out because y'all y'all like some of the transcellers for us. So if y'all can't work it out, then when other comedians get into it, how y'all expect us to work it out when we look up to y'all? So true. we looking for y'all to work it out in order for us to come along and be follow y'all footsteps. But before anybody can work it out, what I think it is, we'll have some, um, I'm not going to, well, demons to work on himself first because I don't know if he's going through, through therapy and I hope that he is, but it seemed like he was really, really hurt, not only by the situation, but because a trending of all the things that's been leading up to that point. Well, yeah, because, man, Chris, Chris been shooting shots for a long time. That's right. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Hey, that's comedy. That that's that's part. If I know I can go to this joke and I know they're going to laugh, but you can't just blame it all on Chris because guess what? You got people that write that write these jokes and they say, look, we're gonna pay you this much, this is what we wrote. They give you the strip, on the, you you go in there, you read the strip. Some of you look like, wait a minute, I don't know if I should say that. Mm. Or, you know But it depends on how much money you get and you gonna still say it, right? Yep, I'll take that slap. Come on, slap me <laughs> and give me that money. You, you know. And matter of fact, you need to slap me again because that first one didn't go right. Come on now. <laughs> well, I tell you, man, you know, Boss Talk, ever since you left, we, you know, when you first came on the show, there's been a lot of people from Faze on Love to, uh, you, the cheating ass Myron that you brought to a uh, Carlos Miller just left the other week. You know, yeah, thanks. there's been shouts out to Carlos man, Miller. Man. Everybody he gave me my been shot in Atlanta. He did. He did what? He gave me my first shot. Not my first shot on stage he in did? Atlanta. Where? Yeah, yeah, where? I Carlos, talked bad to the nigga. If yeah. I knew he did that, I wouldn't yeah. have been so hard no, on no, the he nigga. Be bad, hard on Carlos. Carlos used to tell people, Damn. "Hey, look, uh, take me off and put 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 him up." Really? Or uh, cut my time and put him up. So. I, I appreciate wow. that, Carlos That's Miller, cool. you know That's what I'm saying? 
um, O.D. O'Dell and Johan say, and Chris said it off Jones. Them four guys right there in Atlanta paid the way for me to go in Atlanta and be able to hit any stage. Man, you know, and and that's real, man. He, you know, unseamlessly came by Boss Talk 101, man. Uh, shout out to that boy, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Dump Master, too, for linking me up with him. But it's just so, it, it, it ain't easy. A lot of times you invite people on the show and, and they don't, some show, some don't. It's just a part of it. Some of them busy, some of them not. Some of them just not ready to come this way. Right. Or just, God I put them God, on. Exactly. God put, I, I almost didn't come because y'all didn't have no handicap park. Well, we like, don't have no it, handicap park. <laughs> you know we trying to you get know, it. They, you know they got it, but it's all the way, all the way, way down at the end. It's all the way down at the end. Interview down there then. <laughs> no, it's not happening like that. But um, we have those guys on here now. One thing that I've been asking all the comedians, because this is the challenging question, we did uh, Alex Thomas over in uh, 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 California as well. Mm -hmm. and, uh, people. Yeah, and so the question is, and, and this is a, a, a question that everybody's had to a answer in the comedian world, including Jordan Jackson last week. Uh, you guys are, 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 you are like a new wave comedian, even though you old school. You yeah. might be the bridge. But at any rate, let me get this question question now you got some of you guys when Faison was on here Faison said that uh he said that basically the new the new way of doing comedy is is really not sustainable in so many ways because it does not pay residual income and he says uh basically he gets residuals but then turn around uh, Mike Bless came on here and said, no, Country Wayne is making $480,000 a month and said that he's basically taking care of a whole bunch of people. And this question right here, I've got, you know, I got to see that there are some gaps in the comedian world because of the fact of some being on the stage and stand up and from the old way of doing things and some being on the stage to stand up and still in that social media world. So there's two different worlds that's trying to collide. And, and, and basically you guys are having to work together a lot of times. How do you, how do you look at the whole situation? Do you feel like the old way is better or the new way is better or, or, or what, do, what do you think? No, the, I ain't gonna say which is better because whatever works for you works for you. Like the old way, taught you how to talk to people, okay. communicate, get out here and meet people. The new way, I can get on the internet, I post something funny, you like me. You don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? And you get to follow me. But the old school way, I'm out hand in hand. You got, you got, I got to bring it on stage. It ain't like no stop and redo. On the internet, you mess up, you can stop, redo it before you post it. But people think it's easy doing social media. It's hard doing either one. For one, to be a stand-up comedian, if you're on stage, if you mess up, you got to correct it right then. Right. Because people will boo, and it's hard to come back for a, from a boo. I had somebody boo me the other night, but I, I'm reckless. I'm I'm with the shit. So, you know what I'm saying? You you come at me, I, I got jokes already that I know I'm going to say to you, make you shut up. So they got to mess with him. I said, no, nah, leave him alone. This is a comedy show. He want to be, he can, he can watch the show or be the show. So, you know, you got to be able to handle your business on stage. And even with on the internet, if you're an internet comic, you, it takes time to make, create the idea, make the idea come visual, and you got to video it, and you got to have the right angles. If you don't have the right angles or the mm -hmm. right lighting, it don't even, it's just like being on stage with a bad joke. Mm -hmm. So all that is hard work. So all the internet comments, I applaud you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of work. And you, you got to post not just once, Three to four times a day. And think about it. You got Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Mm -hmm. You got to post all that three, four times a day, but you got to post different videos because if you post it on Facebook, you can't go back and post it on Instagram right then or social or the next one. So we shoot about 15, 20 skits a day. And whatever I post on this one, I post this one on this one and this and on that one, and then I go back and rotate the days. Well, what about, Faison say that it does not pay residuals, yes, so when you do. when you get older and you can't do them no more, or if you get something happen to where you don't have well, that outing, you right. don't have people, you don't have a, a, a source of income coming in like like the old comedians who did movies yeah. where they had those residuals coming that's, in. That's where I'm in at, because I do movies too. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm nine movies in. and um, Really? What, yeah, what movies no, have you been in? Well, eight movies. I did Slice one, two, and three with okay. Pierre. I did uh, Apartments with T.I. I just shot the movie um, Finding Love. 
have that any of I've, all of these movies been out? No, the new ones they're, they're about to get ready to drop. Okay. Um, I just did the Boosie movie, um, the Water Boys, and it's another movie I just did, Hole in the Wall. Wow! And I was on the Ricky Smiley, um, Ricky Smiley for real. Wow. wow! People, people don't know that. So I'm, I'm out here. I'm not just stand up. I'm not just internet. I'm, I'm on TV too. <laughs> so you are one that's able to understand that that there has to be. A, a, a balance yeah, in you between your comedian life and the way that you strive to accomplish it, right? Exactly, because like when you're doing stand up, you're only in stand up world. So everybody that does stand up don't does social don't do social media. So when I went from stand up to doing social media, all the people I hung around that did social media, everybody didn't do stand up. So when you fall into that social media world, you forget, hey, look, I'm a stand-up comedian too. So I had to back up off that and go back to the original people that put me in the game and like, hey, look, I need to get on some stages. So I had to back out of social media and go back over to stand-up so but, I don't get rusty. But when you look at a country, Wayne, and you look at these guys that's making, uh, or, or Bubba Dub, that's making $100,000 in one month or $400,000 in one month, it's kind of hard to say they ain't going to be okay in the future. Well, you, when you make that type of money, you got to invest it the right way. That's true. You, you, I don't care. If, even if, if, you was a dog, if you sold dogs for a living, if you don't invest your money the right way, then, hey, look, who's to say you're going to make it in the future? Even a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Even people that get residuals off movies. If you don't invest your money the right way, all that money can blow in real Real quick. And when you say invest, not only invest in your future, but invest back into you, as in with a comedian, what I would think is investing in whether paying the right person to be on one of your skits just to get seen more. Because I'm sure not everybody that you put in your skits do it just on the on the real. Yeah, some, some people you might have to actually hire to be in the skit. Sometimes you don't have to get people that's big to be seen more. You just got to have the right people for the right video. Okay. The right bit because you can. Yeah, you seen a movie that got a whole lot of stars, a mm. whole lot of hit people. In I don't it. like those. And when you see it, the video, the movie, not even as good. Mm. Or a basketball team got all the all star players on it, right. and they they still not that good. Right. I would name a team, but I don't want to put them out there. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? But I think y'all know who I'm talking about. But um, I'm a Laker fan, no, no, regardless of what a uh, who playing die hard Laker fan, mm -hmm. but. It's not, it's not who you do the video with. It's putting the right people on the right video to where it makes sense. Mm -hmm. If it makes sense, people are going to watch it. People are going to follow it. My my first video that did a million views, it wasn't even, it was just me and cheating ass Myron. Mm -hmm. And then I came right back, and my next two videos, it was only me by myself. Mm -hmm. And I did, what, one of them I did 14 million. Wow. I did that by myself. And then I did the dog video, and that did like 30 million. It was just me and the dog. Mm. How so, hard is it? How hard is it to keep coming up with content? Keep coming up with ideas of how what to do next, just to try to, you know, get entertain your now, your. Now viewers. it's not about coming up with it. It's everyday life. Mm. What do I see that people do every day? You know what I'm saying? Like you can take a wig and put it on your head and stretch your head, and the wig go back and forth and. Post it and it's gonna go viral because somebody gonna be like, wait a minute, did her wig just go back and forth? Did wait a minute, they gonna keep on watching it and then they gonna go to sharing it and everybody gonna be like, I know that ain't no wig going back and forth. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to come up with content, you know. Easy. It's it's everyday life, but when you put a lot of thought in it, like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, it don't work as good. Cause when I did silhouette challenge, it was like. I knew what I was going to do, and I didn't put no thought into it. I just said, shoot it. Mm -hmm. And when they shot it, my daughter played right into it, and I did what? The next day, somebody called me and said, hey, look, Snoop just shared your video. Mm -hmm. So big shout-out to, to Snoop. To Snoop Dogg. Yeah, Snoop. But y'all make it look so easy, though. That's the problem. It's like for people who are trying to get into it or people who are just now venturing off into the social media you know, era is like we want to try to jump in and start doing whether skits or try to post more, or do more things. But the looking at your, things, it looks easy. It is. But I've seen click for, um, full of stars come in here. They always have their ring light with them. They always have their phones. And anywhere they go, no matter where they go, they're going to pop that ring light out and they doing a dance. They're doing a skit. They're doing something every single time. Because I, I came up with a skit. I wasn't going to tell nobody, but I'm going to tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? I came up with it today. It was like, um, 
robbery gone wrong, mm. where you don't need nobody in it. I can do, as long as I do my part, a guy come in, like, give me, I uh, don't think you got on, you ain't got no shirt on. Can't see nothing else up under, up under of it. And the rock guy come in and be like, hey, give me everything. Like, you want, man? You ain't got and, the, and the dude like, man, you gonna rob him naked? He's like, man, we come to get what we come to get. He said, man, we got everything, let's go. The other guy said, huh? He said, man, we got everything, let's go. He said, no, I want a shot of that. And I just do a facial reaction, like, what? You know, <laughs> see, and that, and just that, just that, um, just that, that phrase will automatically make people like, wait a minute. Try to think, and, try to figure yeah. out what, what, what you yeah. talking about? Yeah. In today's society, things are going so crazy. You know, when you look at some of the things that are happening, um, you know, for some of the jokes that you told a long time ago may not be permittable today because of how sensitive people have gotten. Uh, we look at Aries Spears, uh, right now he catching a lot of flack for some oh, stuff that we, he done. We talked about that today, me and Pierre, yeah. we talked about well, it. Oh, how do you feel about like the way that he's getting backlash? And it seems to have really, he talked about, what's that girl named Lizzo mm -hmm. down in Houston? And then, cannot and, talk about Lizzo. And, 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 and once you talk about, talked about Lizzo, everything start coming out like, that's the way I seen it. And I, I could be Lizzo, totally but wrong. But you know what? I could be totally wrong. He, he, Eric Spears been like that. I asked Eric Spears, you know what I'm saying? I asked him about getting on the show. Somebody say, he don't do black people on this show. He put white people up. Are you serious? Uh, no, no disrespect. Hey, look, thank you. At least I asked, you know what I'm saying? Then I was like, hey, can I get a picture with you? He said, nah. He I wouldn't take a picture with you? I don't take a But at the end of the day, I still said, thank you. I still support you. You have a nice day. And kept on going. Wow, so d you really have people out there that get on the stage with you the same night that have differences on even dealing with you? Mm -hmm. I mean, That's you got, crazy. You got, that every, you, got people, you got people that won't even put you on the show if you're funnier than them. They're watching to see if you're funnier than them so they don't have, they don't get overshadowed though. That's yeah, you, got, you, you, you got people, this this thing that they told me in the comedy world. Think I've been too funny and not funny enough. You don't know where to be because if you're too funny, they be like, no, don't put him on the show. If you're not funny enough, they be like, don't put him on the show. So it's like, where do you go? Right. So I, I'm blessed to say the people that put me on the show with them, they don't hold back. They say, man, give it to them. Mm -hmm. Every, they rather for the whole show to be funny than just that one person not mm -hmm. funny. You know, so that's one. I feel like when you're on a comedy show, the first person starts it off, set the trend. The second person picks up from there and take the energy up. The headliner is the big boom. Like you know a relay. So, like a relay. Just yeah, like so a relay. No matter who you is, if you're headlining or wherever you at, you got to take advantage of your moment. If you're the headliner, they're going to laugh at your stuff pretty, pretty much regardless because they paid to see you. And anybody that's up under you, they probably not getting paid what you get paid. So long as your check's still right, it don't matter who up there. Wow. Keep bringing them to keep your show funny so they won't be like, Hey, he was funny, but that them other two dudes, they wasn't they weren't that funny. But if everybody funny, they were like, man, his show was good from beginning to the end. How do you, like you say, like going back to Aries Spears just for a second, like how do you, like if you was able to, you would still help him if you was able to set up a show and you wanted to invite him on? Yeah. You I know, mean, because I, because certain people it don't matter. Gonna make a right. Exactly. That's why I'm just, just sitting back thinking about how do you bridge the gap between those differences. You know what I mean? How would I bridge the gap? I don't know how I would bridge the gap, but I just look at I still will work with you just because you who you are, and at the same time, people gonna be like, people gonna go watch because they're gonna be like, you did a, you went back and worked with him because they want to see they want to see what you did with him. Yeah. They want to even if it's good or bad, they're gonna be like, hey, what did y'all do? What made you want to do it with him? And why you picked that particular video? Or why you put him on that particular show? It's all about setting up the right right things for things to grow on the end. Well, he, you know, the video clip that I keep seeing is with him and another guy. And he turns over and, and, and they, they have a cozy moment to be kind of nice about the way I see it. Um, and... And Whatever. people are taking that, and they are they are hammering that thing. Every time I turn the internet on, I see it. It's like he turns over, he gets a little smudge from the other guy, and then they be like, "Dang, just the guy that said this." And it's they touchy, like, touchy. 
Have you have you seen it? No. Oh, it's on. You seen it? Uh, I ain't seen it, but oh, you know what? Man, I it's look, on there. I look. I look at whatever you choose. That's what you choose. Cause I went to Atlanta. They almost got me. What? It's, they did. You know, but I love Atlanta. I love them too. But you know what? Like, How did the, they the, almost the, get the you? The guy seen me when I when I first came up. He said, "I like you. You funny." I said, "Thank you." He said, "Can I get a picture?" I said, "Yeah." I took the picture with him. He said, "Oh, you coming in here?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "Hold up. They tell you what kind of club this is." I said, no, he say, it's some of us and some of them in there. No, he say, yeah, it's some of us and some of them. I didn't know what he meant. I say, look, I know my sexuality. I come to have a good time. I kick it with everybody. Yeah. He said, I'm glad you think like that. So I'm like, all right, we start walking in the club. He said, wait a minute, the floor looks slippery. I don't want you to fall. He grabbed my crutch. He stick his arm out like, hold on my arm. I'm going to walk you to your <laughs> section. I'm like, okay, but while I'm walking in, it looked like I'm his girl uh -huh. the way I'm holding on his arm. Uh -huh. He said, wait a minute, this don't feel right. I'm like, exactly. So I dropped my hand, and he dropped his hand, and somehow his hand locked with my hand. What? Yeah, but <laughs> while, while we was on our way to our section, when we get close to my section, I hear somebody say, oh, he hitting that. I'm like, no, oh, he's not. Damn. Now, now I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, it, ain't, it ain't that type of party. You know what I'm saying? So somebody else come up that see me like, oh, you here? I can't believe you here. Can I get a picture? The dude that walked me to my sex say, no, we ain't taking pictures. I'm like, we ain't. I didn't like it. Jealous. <laughs> I didn't, know, jealous. I didn't know it was a weed, you know what right. I'm saying? So, you know, I'm like, hey, look, yeah, I'll take a picture with you. Don't worry about that. We taking pictures. He didn't order me drinks. I didn't order drinks. The bill come. They say, who paying? I say, him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, you something else, man. But you do find yourself in situations. I find myself in situations trying to support people that work for me. Uh, and they was, you know, they was different. They did things a little different. This, this is my thing right here. When people talk about that, people see girls liking girls. Mm -hmm. They think it's cute. They see guys liking men. You say something about it. I'm not saying I'm like that, but how is it a two, like, how you gonna like a girl that like girls, you know what I'm saying, and say it's cute, but then when the guys do it, you can't accept what they do. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to accept the women, you got to accept the guys mm -hmm. too. You know, as long as you know your sexuality, you know what I'm saying, it ain't. It ain't nothing you should be worried about because guess what? At the end of the day, they are people. And them people come out and support you. I seen one of my guys from Little Rock, Arkansas, in the mall in Atlanta. He dressed like a woman. You know what I'm saying? But he cool with me. His name Tony. I seen him in the mall with some of my homeboys. I'm like, that's my homeboy. They say, who? I said, right there. I said, man, you, that's a dude dressed like a woman. I said, I know that's my homeboy. He's from my hometown. I hollered from the other side of the mall like, what's up, Tony? My homeboy don't look at like, man, I can't believe you. I said, man, that's my dog. At the end of the day, they support. He support me. I respect what you do. I respect how you move and what you do or how you grind. And he respect me the same way. They never try to holler at me. They be like, no, nah, we can't mess with the little handicapped dude. You know what I'm saying? He already can't, <laughs> he already can't walk that dude. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to. We don't, we don't want to put that man, much pressure on him. Man, this dude gets out so much using that handicap excuse, dog. I, I, I got to be careful with trying to use that because one time I tried to fall over and one dude said, hey, toot that thing up. <laughs> <laughs> so, man. So now, Atlanta was the right move for you. No, yeah. we need him back in Dallas. Yes, Stop my, playing. my wife actually went and found a house and surprised me for Father's Day. Wow. Yes. So y'all really gonna settle down there? Nah, we ain't gonna do that. <laughs> uh, she 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 want to move. She want to move back like towards Arkansas, closer to family. She more a family person, and I look at I got a wife now, so you know. Yeah, congratulations and, on the marriage. Yeah, appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, so I be on the road all the time. She on the road with me some most of the time or whatever. So I feel like if she giving me the opportunity to travel and do whatever. I don't want her just sitting at home feeling alone and I ain't got no family there to, right. you know what I'm saying, go see. So I'll, I'll take the sacrifice of moving back to an area where she could be next to her family and I can still travel. Okay. Wow, awesome. that's that's dope, man. That's live. Um, but I know my I know my hustle. My hustle, I'm going to travel no matter yeah, where I'm, you always where, no matter like where I'm at. So, I'm a grind. We twenty. We known each other twenty years, so ain't nothing but love there. Man, you turned it up on the, on the skits uh, more than usual. Um, we've been watching, and just how do you keep coming up with different ideas and different ways to make yourself stay and maintain that relevancy that you do? Everyday life, everyday life. I look at I look at what you do or whatever, and I could take a 
video by watching you sitting in that chair and come up with a skit off of just you sitting in that chair. Okay. It just it's just the visual people like people take their time to make think too hard for a video. The simple things what work. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that. that, that just, it, it's, it's, it's so easy. Like, I'm about to call the police on you, and I hold the phone like this. You see, the phone is wrong. You're gonna get in the comments like, He ain't even calling nobody. That phone turned backward. <laughs> you know, it, it just it's it just, just comments or it's self awareness. And just and I hang some draws up in the back. What I said ain't got nothing to do with the video. I mean, with them draws ain't got nothing to do with the video. They're gonna be like, Wait a minute. Is it do nobody not see the drawers hanging on the door? You know what I'm saying? They're they gonna keep watching it just to see, you know what I'm saying, underwear on the door. So it's it's the smallest things will work. The the process. A lot of people over exaggerate the process of doing the skits. A lot, uh, I've I've learned lately that mostly it's your iPhone. It's only uh it's not the cameras like it used to be. Is that a thing or what? iPhones are the new wave right now. Okay. I can edit my video right there on my phone. When well, you can edit right there on the phone now, it depends on what shot you're looking for and where you're trying to go with it. Because Netflix, you got to have a certain kind of camera. You got to have it in a certain format. But if you're just doing Instagram, social media, your iPhone. But when you think about storage, because you do a lot of content. See, I got That's it. the I got, problem. I got oh, two terabytes. So, on your phone, on my Me phone. Too. So I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about the storage. And I'm in. I got the iCloud, so I paid that extra money because I'm investing to myself because I know what is going to happen mm. on the end. Wow, man, just, uh, just love what you're doing. Uh, been watching you, man. Um, love your movement. Love. Uh, I know when I come to Atlanta, I'm gonna find you somewhere on the stage if you're even in Atlanta because you travel every day. And week. I got a question for y'all. First time y'all said y'all never seen me do stand up. So what was y'all experience when y'all what would y'all what was y'all thinking when y'all first seen me come up on stage? For me, <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. I was definitely uh gonna I was very judgmental. I was looking to see what the hell you was gonna do up there on that stage. Uh, I had seen your skit, so I was like, Well, I know he ain't can't do skits up there, you're gonna have to come on with it. <laughs> So when you got up there and you had a whole layout of just a, a litany of jokes and stuff, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, she definitely enjoyed it. We was just talking back and forth for how good it was, man. You had great stand up, great presence. Um, really, like I said, I watched. Uh, was it I just Ray? Was it D Ray? D Ray, yeah. D Ray, and, 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 and but but really, we came to see you. No 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 shade to D Ray, but we were there for you. So at the end of the day, it was something about that night that where mm -hmm. we felt, man, we came all the way to Atlanta. We get to see Jesse. It was just a live moment. So your stand up is it can't be denied, and I've been telling everybody about it ever mm -hmm. since. Appreciate it. And Appreciate one thing, it. thinking back on it, you didn't fall not once in 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 that show. Oh no, they don't pay me to fall on stage. <laughs> That's <laughs> not a skit. That's what I was I telling know. you. I'm a like, skit. You got you got to pay for that fall. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, he's skidding. It's yeah. a it's a difference than when he's on stage. He's very professional. Mm -hmm. He brings it the way that the traditional comedians bring it, but in his own way. Exactly. And I just felt like you know I didn't know how you was gonna come, but you were so professional, and you could tell you was a veteran in what you was doing. Mm -hmm. So that's dope, man. That's live. And then the, the fact I thought back on the Steve. Hart Harvey moments, uh, not Steve Harvey, but Ricky Smiley moments where you say he sat on the edge of the stage and watched you and you could see that you had already been through so many different things and channels to where you was a vet on that stage, like I said. Oh, yeah, you know? and, I, and, I, and I still talk to my mentors. K-Dub, I talk to him a lot. Um, D-Ray, I hit him up and his security, they helped me out with a lot of a lot of jokes. That's the big guy that I seen. Yeah, Trey. That my boy. Yeah, he probably know IG. Trey, 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 he Trey cool as hell. Trey will hurt your feelings too if you're a comedian. <laughs> Trey, Trey, you be up there doing your jokes and you come off stage and Trey, how I do it, man? I think you should wash cars. What? <laughs> <laughs> he was there that night, man. We sit but back and talk, me and him. I take, enjoyed him. It takes somebody like that to be hard on you. You got to be able to take um, with the constructive criticism. If you can't take that, man. Whatever you do is not gonna work. You gotta wow. be able to take the you gotta be able to take the criticism. What? How can people get a hold of you? On Cash App. <laughs> <laughs> you can reach me on Cash App at all times. <laughs> I respond rapidly. Hey man, man, on IG, where you at? I'm comedian Jesse McDonald on IG, Facebook, Instagram, 
comedian Jesse McDonald. Um, Facebook comedian Jesse McDonald still funny because my page got hacked. Really? Yeah, my page got hacked. I just got it back. I had a hundred and what seventy thousand followers. How many you got now? I got one hundred and seventy four. So on Facebook. Facebook. Wow. That's one page. My other page, um, I think I got like five thousand some followers and maybe five hundred some um friends. I heard, that, I heard that Facebook money different, man. And that Facebook money did, but you got to work for it. You got mm-hmm. you, nothing in life is free. If it's easy to get, it's a catch behind it. Mm-hmm. If you work hard for it, then you got something to tell the people alone. Tell them about your journey. Yeah, if you say, "Hey, look, I woke up, I put a video up, and um, I'm successful today." Twenty years from now, how did you get there? You know what I'm saying? You you ain't got no story to tell. Me, I tell people, I drove 20 hours. I drove 15 hours. You know what I'm saying? I slept in the car before. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? People ain't got no struggle. You got you got to have a struggle and so you can tell people how you got there. Wow. If you got here, how did you get here? Wow. You know what I'm saying? It's more to it than I just posted one video and it, it went viral. This is your first time doing a video and you went viral. But what you going to do to stay there? If you mm-hmm. hustle to get there, you know, you know how to stay there. And you just overnight success, and you hear how you going That's when some people become what they call them one hit wonders. Mm-hmm. You hit overnight. Wow. What are you gonna do to stay there? Man, thank you so much, man. I, I, every time you come to town, man, you always bless us with your presence, with great conversation. Um, man, just anytime you're in Dallas or if I'm in Atlanta, I was just in Atlanta. I was downtown and we wasn't there long because we were going to go to South Carolina, but we got rained out on a show, on a deal we was going to be uh, uh uh, attending and we ended up changing and coming back to Texas but man just thank you so much for supporting us all these all the times man um, yeah. man if it's anything you ever need and Boss Talk 101 can be a part of it please let me know yeah, I need something right now you can just surprise me on Cash App you know, <laughs> shout out to the Cash App King, that boy Jesse McDonald, comedian Jesse yeah. McDonald. He's in the building, man. We out here. Shout out man. to my wife, you know what I'm saying? Um, my new, you know, um, she always on the road. That's my road manager. Hey. Yeah, that's, that's my road manager. Man, my, check it, man. And my friend. Hey, man. Check it, man. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Oh, yeah, man. and if you're watching this right here, make sure you go follow Boss Talk and follow me on Cash App. Ha <laughs> ha